Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. Teresa White, founder, president, and CEO of the Pan-African Family Empowerment and Land Preservation Network, and Lori Kellogg-McCall, author of Sway of the Siren, update us on donor support since the launch of Help Save Gullah Geechee Land Campaign. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Certainly. So, uh, what? talk a little bit about the actual mission of the Pan-African Family Empowerment and Land Preservation Network, Teresa. Our mission is to um, empower people of African descent around the world to be able to save their ancestral home and property. And um, what has, I guess you started this campaign in March of 2015, Help Save Gullah Geechee Land. Where are you at with it now? So far we've been able to save over $1.1 million worth of Gullah Geechee owned property through both paying delinquent taxes for people before it went to the delinquent tax sale and by redeeming property that's already gone to the delinquent tax sale and was at risk of being lost forever. And who is supporting PAFIN? Our organization is being supported from people, by people from around the world um, through our GoFundMe campaign. And we've also had local donations in kind and various other kinds from churches, individuals. Um, we've um, got a donation recently from, which, which included matching funds from the, the Heritage Classic Foundation. And we've just recently been approved for the federal combined campaign, um, which is the largest workplace campaign for employee donations. And I see you brought a letter with you from Congressman Sanford. Yes, um, Congressman Sanford wrote us a letter after he saw something about us in the Buford Gazette and um, in the Allen Packet. And he thanked us for the work we are doing to help families who are often overlooked in the process of um, development and other things that are happening in our community that cause people to lose their land. And Lori, you have been um, motivated uh, to become such a dedicated supporter of Hafen. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I love the Low Country so much. I think that it's mysterious and beautiful and just been a balm for my soul to get to live here. And to me, the Gullah Geechee people are one of our greatest natural resources here. And that's something that we need to protect and preserve. And as Gullah Geechee people are displaced and dispersed because of rising property taxes, um, when there's no one close by for them to speak Gullah to, the language dies. And when the language dies, those customs, traditions, um, all of that knowledge and wisdom goes with it. And to me, like that's something I wanted to be a part of preserving. And I saw Teresa and Paffin on the news, and I saw them redeeming properties and making a difference in people's lives, preserving that ancestral land. And so that's something I wanted to be a part of. And we teamed up, and 10% of the profits from my book um, go to this cause. And you can find my book, Oliver Beaufort County, um, Three Sisters Resale and More, Enlightened Salon, Mamim and Maudi, 21 Boundary Street Art Gallery, uh, Low Country Store, Red Piano 2, and New Beginnings. What deadlines are Paffin facing to help Gullah Geechee families? September 30th is a deadline for paying delinquent taxes. Um, before it's sold at the Beaufort County delinquent tax sale on October 3rd. And October 5th is the deadline for paying your, um, for, for redeeming property that was, that was sold at the 2015 delinquent tax sale. Otherwise, it's going to be, become the permanent property of the person who won the bid for it at the last sale. And what fundraising activities are planned between now and the end of 2016? We have an enhanced GoFundMe campaign that started on October 19th and will run through September 19th so that we can generate enough money to catch the people who need to have their taxes paid before September 30th and help the families who need to redeem their property before October 5th. We are also going to be sending out letters to churches for what we call a Stand for Land Sunday, which will be September 11th. And we will move into the first phase of the combined federal campaign when employees of the government, both civ and civilian and military employees, will start donating through their work sites. How else can the community support uh, PAFIN's mission? The community can support PAFIN's mission by donating old cars that they don't need, 
taking up um, donations through their organizations and their churches and helping us when we have fundraisers by being volunteers and other activities at our office. Well, thank you both for joining us today. We'll have all your information on the screen. Thank you very thank you much for having, for having us. Certainly. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.